That is Maverick's gadget, which is commonly referred to as the blowtorch, and I use it in a funny way. It's not only useful in doing some meme stuff, but it's also very effective at making holes in reinforced walls. Here's an example clip. It can also be used to destroy some bulletproof utility like Master's Evil Eye and deployable shields. But back in the day when Maverick had frag grenades, there was a trick that people liked to use known as Maverick tricking. If you heard that sound, that means you're doing it right. By mapping out the top and the bottom of the reinforced wall, it will eventually make it soft and so a Buck or a Sophia can just open up the wall. While Maverick Tricking can still be viable nowadays, defenders can just simply look through the holes that you're making and just shoot you. And yes, you do get the wall open, but you can just go below or go above or use EMP impacts to get the Bandit or Kaid off the wall and just open up with Thermite or Ace. The fact that you can make lines of sight through reinforced walls with your gadget is very strong, However, they can just simply peek through it and kill you. And I'll be honest, as a newer player, using his gadget is very tricky. Because it's a double-edged sword. You make the hole, you can get a kill. You make the hole, you die. So, it's kind of 50-50 of what's going to happen. Especially when you can use Habana to do the exact same thing. And provided she opens up a bigger hole. But if you want a smaller hole, then I suppose Maverick is your guy. Now, y'all probably heard after the December change that Maverick's AR is very strong and you would be exactly right. Maverick's M4 does 50 damage with extended barrel and has very low recoil even with angled grip and has a 2 time scope, so there's realistically nothing to hate about this gun other than, well, you just find it too overpowered and you don't have fun with it. Seriously, 50 damage with an assault rifle, there is no reason to use this other primary option which is a DMR called the AR-15. In the same patch, they tried to buff it alongside the M4, but in a game with one-shot headshots, and now that his AR does 50 damage, there's kind of no reason to use this DMR. Now, however, he does come with a decent pistol, that being the 1911 Keratos. Now, for his secondary gadgets, he comes with a pretty powerful flashbangs, where he can hold three of them. And he comes with two claymores, which admittedly, they're kind of mediocre. After this recent patch, there is no other way to say it, but Maverick is now an entry fragger. And considering the fact he's a three-speed, there's no denying it as well. Mavic used to be considered a support operator when he had frag grenades. He would make a hole above the wall and proceed to nade any bandits or kites that are on the wall. But now that his gun does 52 damage with a 2 time scope and being a 3 speed with flashbangs, I don't see how he's not an entry fragger. So that's it. That's how you play Maverick. He is an entry fragger. Have fun because he's probably going to get nerfed. If you want to know how to properly entry frag, I made a separate video explaining all the roles in Siege. And the first role I explained is the entry frag role because some people usually get it mistaken. So I recommend go checking that out. And with all that being said, I guess that's the end of the video. I'm Carter Tony, and if you like what I make, I appreciate it if you subscribe. And if there's any other operators that you're interested in, I have more than likely covered them in my playlist. So I recommend go checking that out. And with all that being said, I hope you have a good day or good night, and goodbye.